Hello everybody. I picked up this Black & Decker electric lawn mower. This lawn hog. Sitting on the side of the road with a does not work sign on it. So I thought, what the heck, let me give it a try and see what's going on. So when I powered it on, sometimes it would turn on and sometimes it would not turn on. So that led me to believe it was either the switch up here or something in the motor. So let me just show you the easy way to figure out whether it's the switch or not. Put your extension cord in, pull the on handle, and if you've got one of these voltage proximity testers, I got the handle pulled on. I just run my tester down the wire. That tells me that there's power on the wire. If I let the handle go, there's no power. So that tells me that there's power getting to the mower. Move the top. I've got this partially disassembled already, but with my voltage tester, I could tell that I have voltage all the way down to the bridge rectifier here. This rectifier converts the AC to DC. This DC motor has brushes, and I noticed the intermittent operation was due to the brushes being worn out. So occasionally it would run, occasionally it wouldn't run. And that was because the spring that presses on the brush had no more travel in it. So let me show you. That's the brush holder right there. And the brush rides inside that box up against the commutator. And it's spring loaded. If you pull the brush out, this brush is supposed to travel like this. And it's almost all the way at the end of its travel. The, a new brush will be all the way back in here somewhere. Sp sprung all the way back. This so thing will be sitting quite a ways back in this slot. So you can see that the brush is almost completely worn. Because there's no more travel left in it. So a new brush, this thing would be way, way back here. That spring would be compressed. And this is just about at the end of its travel. So it's not making reliable contact up against the commutator. So all you need to do is replace the brushes. One side is going to wear worse than the other. The other side actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. But brushes are cheap. Nine bucks for a pair, typically, on eBay. There are other videos out there showing you how to connect the brush to this wire here. You just need to make a crimp connection. Cut the old brush off, crimp the two connections together, and you'll be good to go. So anyway, that's my short video today. This voltage tester is invaluable. It keeps you from having to disassemble all this switch mechanism to see whether it's the switch or the plug. You just trace the power down. It says if you've got power here when you pull the handle, the only thing that can be wrong is either the bridge, rectifier, or the motor. And if it's the motor, it's likely one of the brushes. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, how about a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel.